When I'm teaching Story Starts, an excellent strategy that I've found for teaching characterization is character detectives. Sometimes children struggle to formulate ideas for what a character should be and they find it very difficult to come away from friends, family and their own experiences. So using the character cases gives them a stimulus, gives them a visual stimulus to start. Now inside my case I have lots of clues as to who my character might be today but I need your help. Character Detective Lesson starts with me modelling how I would like the children to explore the cases as detectives. Any ideas? Who might be hiding in my detective case? A fairy. Why do you think it could be a fairy, Harry? Uh, because some people believe that fairies have magic wands. Fantastic. Then quickly, the children, after my lead, getting into role, and that is absolutely essential before they begin on their detective case journey. Take out your detective hats. Pop them out. Special hat, well done. Could you now please take out your special, just give it a polish, because we haven't used it for a little while, and pop your monocle into your eye. Detectives, are you ready? Yes, yes Detective Savile! Off you go. Right. Each table would have a case, and that can be a shoe box, it can be any kind of box that you can find. And inside that case, I like to put lots of little artefacts, little things they can look at, so there might be pictures for a visual stimulus, it could be thought bubbles to get them thinking about what the character might think, heart bubbles for them to, to think and explore the character's feelings. Sometimes I like to put in words to stimulate ideas, maybe the old simile if that's what I'm focusing on in my lesson. Dear people of Earth, I love pollution. Whoever should be green with poisonous liquids and the Earth should be covered with rubbish. Let me rule you, pay. Pay. Mr. Pollution? It could be P.S. Within the boxes, I try to put different kinds of characters so the children are excited when they share at the end of the lesson which characters they've created. And there is a sheet that I would like them to work on, a detective sheet, where they can analyse the character, giving them prompts. I think it's like a man on the phone losing lo using loads of electricity and it's wasting time. The discussion that the children generate is absolutely key to this character case working. It's the discussion that generates the ideas. We've got, I'm going to, I have a plan to save the world from my next adventure, but what do you think adventure is going to be about? Recycling to um, stop the pollution. So what will the potions do? I think it's about global warming. Right. Yeah, so it's stop global warming. By the end of the lesson, I hope the children will have explored a character, created a character, thought about how the whole character, what they look like, what they say, what they feel, what they're thinking, and they have a character now ready to put into their stories. They may have even got on to moving towards writing a description that would already directly go into their new world stories that they will be writing next lesson. What characters have you created? Because these characters tomorrow are going to go into our stories with our settings that we've created. The blue team over here, would you like to share? Actions. I fly to save the world. Thoughts. Why won't more people recycle? I like to end the lesson by working in detective teams, so for the children as a team to feed back on their team's findings as detectives. What characters have they created and how have they done that? And I like to see them enjoying it. Others might say, well, why should we? Can you tell me the name of the person that you think is in your box, Detective Blue Team? Recycle superhero. You think it's a recycle superhero. Thank you very much. They're problem solving, which makes it incredibly exciting and gives them a purpose for writing. And it takes them out of their everyday role. They're becoming important detectives and they have a job to do.